Hello everyone. As you can see, we are going to be opening up some Star Wars Black Series figures uh, on the cards. Um, something that's a little bit different though is these are actually Amazon Warehouse. Uh, and this one was one that was previously opened. Um, and the reason I, was, I did that is because I was going to open these up and they both said that they had all the parts. So I was like, all right, let's go ahead and see what happens. Uh, the nice thing is... <clears throat> These are significantly less expensive when you get them at a warehouse. Uh, I think this guy was half price, and this one was actually more than half price. So just something to look at. It's not something I do all the time, but I, I already had them um, in other versions, so I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. And in the background here, we do have the Inferno Squad agent, uh, which is going to look very similar to this guy, so I thought it'd be good to have him as a reference. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unbox these guys. Um, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the packaging, uh, but, you know, we will spend just a second or two. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take a look at these guys. We're going to unbox them. We're going to go ahead and see what they look like, what their articulation is, uh, take some pictures, and then talk about, you know, what our experience was with the Amazon warehouse deal, as well as, you know, what we like about the figures or don't like about the figures. So that's what we're going to do here today. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the Imperial TIE Fighter pilot first, since uh, he's the most quote-unquote banged up because he is going to be already previously open. Not sure why this was returned, but... Looking at him, he looks pretty good. So, let's see what happens here. I'm definitely not the first person to take him out. <laughs> oh well. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at the back. Um, basically, it says commemorate the 40th anniversary of Star Wars: The Empire Strikes Back with figures from the Black Series, featuring classic design and packaging. This is definitely pretty classic for me. <laughs> Um, and it does have the blaster. I was a little worried that it wasn't going to come with a blaster. And then, uh, figure seems good. Seems like he's right. So, hey, looking so good and uh, pretty good so far. Let's go ahead and put his, uh, blaster in his holster here. And... That's interesting. Uh, we'll go ahead and put him in the background here with his, his buddy from the Imper Inferno Squad. And let's go ahead and open up the ATAT -AT driver. Uh, so this guy was also uh, an Amazon warehouse deal as well, but uh, it was um, not previously open. It was basically just received and then returned. Uh, so there we go. And I'm not gonna reread that because it's exactly the same. And there we go. That doesn't break anybody's hearts when I uh, take him out of the blister pack there. All right, now we've got our blaster. And then our AT-AT -AT driver. Interesting, so the AT-AT -AT driver doesn't have a holster. I did not realize that. Hmm, I wonder what he's supposed to do with his blaster here. Probably keep, him in, keep it in the vehicle. <clears throat> so... All right, so just give me a moment. We'll be right back, and we'll take a look at the articulation of these figures. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the AT-AT -AT driver, um, or the ADAT, -AT, depending on what generation you are. <laughs> so uh, we've got our, uh, our helmet here. The helmet uh, is going to be somewhat limited. We do have this, um, the tubes. So that's about as far as he's going to be able to turn his head. Uh, he... Doesn't really go that far down, and his up is restricted as well. Um, maybe a little bit of bobble, which kind of like that, so that way you can get some good looks in him. Uh, shoulders, <clears throat> yeah, these are going to be limited. Uh, we cannot go any further than that. And elbows are also limited. If we the Elbow is able to do the 360. There's no twist at the top. Wrist, obviously the full 360, and this is gonna be at a left-right. And 
The other is going to be a left right as well with the trigger finger. The body torso has a little shimmy. So we are able to get them into some different positions. Um, that looks pretty good. The, uh, the leg is able to do the 360 at the upper thigh. We do have a double knee. And we've got the normal, normal ankle. I do kind of like his boot though. So you're able to get, he does have a little bit more boot than normal. Um, on the back, we do have the, the panel here. I do like how the metallic is on the, the air hoses there. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, the paint is pretty decent as well on the helmet. Uh, if we take his buddy here, we'll be able to see the tops with the empire symbol there. All right. So that's our ATAT -AT driver. Uh, the blaster, it's... It's a pretty, it's a standard blaster. There's nothing else to say about it. So that does actually have silver there. That does not always happen. There we go. So better than I was expecting. All right, so we'll go ahead and put his blaster in his hand, get him situated, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the TIE Fighter Pilot. TIE Fighter Pilot. All right. We're definitely going to be taking a closer look at his buddy there in the background in just a moment. The, uh, the helmet does do allow for more range of motion. However, the hoses do pop out, uh, just like his buddy over there, and the hoses do go back in, so don't, don't worry about that. The, um, <clears throat> the up isn't too far. The down is actually somewhat decent. Uh, we were able to get a shimmy on his head. The arms go much further than the AT-AT. -AT. In fact, this might go higher than uh, I would have expected. Do the full uh, 360 on the arm there. Again, 360 at the elbow. Elbow does not get much more than what you would expect from one of these older figures. And then uh, we are able to go left, right there. And then on the other one, it is also a left right. So this is a very similar figure to the guy at the back. Um, the molding is definitely different. I think what's gonna be interesting is taking a closer look at this mold versus that mold in the background. Um, so 360 at the upper thigh, we do have the double knee and normal there. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and take a look at the this part of the body here. Uh, we've got the uh, the knobs and switches and whatnot. This actually looks pretty cool. And on the back, we don't have anything at all. But we do have the holster. Um, I like the fact that the holster is there, and it doesn't really impede anything. Um, and the belt does move as well. So that it's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, so all around, pretty cool figure here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, comparing these two guys here, and then we're going to go ahead and take some pictures. All right, so on the left side here, we do have the Inferno Squad Agent. On the right, we have the Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the differences. Um, the Inferno Squad Agent, I believe, was a GameStop exclusive, uh, so you might still be able to find them around. Uh, but I thought it'd be good to see what's different between these uh, these two figures here. Biggest thing you're going to see right away is the paint job. Uh, the Inferno Squad... Ooh, excuse me. I am drinking beer. Uh, excuse me. So we do have our Inferno Squad Agent here. Uh, the, you'll see that the um, you've got the Inferno Squad emblem on this side, and we've got the Imperial symbol on that side. And so what you'll see is you got, you've got the red coloring versus the white coloring here. Um, go, going down to the, the air unit here, uh, we've got the different switches. They are slightly different colors, but other than that, they look very similar. Um, you'll also notice, if we go ahead and turn to the side here, that instead of on the shoulder having the Imperial symbol, he's got the, uh, <clears throat> the Inferno symbol there. Uh, but other than that, again, very similar. 
Where we do differ, though, is going to be on the belt. The holster on this side, uh, on this guy here, on the TIE Fighter pilot, is on the side. On the Inferno Squad Agent, it is on the back. And you'll notice that the belt is different as well. The Inferno Squad Agent definitely has more on his belt. Taking a look at the other side, um, we do have the red stripe. And again, Inferno Squad. But again, all in all, very similar figures, down to the boots, having the straps being exactly the same. So, uh, yeah, I like the figure. Um, I definitely like both of these guys. I think they would add a lot to just about any collection. So I'm happy I was able to pick both of them up, especially happy that this guy I was able to get you know, a significant, uh, <laughs> significant savings. So stand back up. Now, what I will notice is that having all this on their body, uh, they definitely are weighed down. And, uh, I have had to use some, uh, museum putty here, uh, to get the Inferno squad agent to stand up. Not so much with this guy, uh, the TIE fighter pilot, but I don't know. I may end up having to resort to it as well. So that's that. So let's go ahead and take some pictures and we'll be right back. So I hope you guys enjoyed those pictures. Uh, and while I was taking the pictures, I realized I did not uh, show off the blaster for the TIE Fighter Pilot. Uh, so if you take a closer look, the blaster is exactly the same as the blaster for the ATAT -AT or ATAT -AT driver, uh, which is different than the Inferno Squad uh, blaster, which is more of a weathered metallic look. Um, but, uh, you know, it's not a bad blaster. I, I definitely like the uh, the metallic inlay there. So, yeah, all in all, um, I love Stormtroopers uh, as well as uh, any of the drivers or anything like that. So I'm definitely happy with these figures. I'm even happier that I got them at a serious discount at uh, via the Amazon warehouse. So I definitely recommend checking that out, you know, every once in a while just to see. Um, as you can see, you know, this guy... He came, you know, significantly uh, at a significant savings, and he looks perfect, so I can't complain. So with that, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about any of these figures in front of you or any of the Black Series figures that I have unboxed so far, please feel free to ask down below. Also, uh, if you like Star Wars, Star Wars Black Series figures, uh, going to Bad 2 or anything else that uh, is Star Wars related, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of things that are star that is Star Wars related. Sorry about that. Uh, but, uh, you know, we also do other things that a professional geek might find interesting as well, like home automation, uh, professional boxes and stuff like that, subscription boxes. So uh, if you're interested in anything like that, I do invite you to subscribe to the channel. And with that, have a great day.